Hello students, I hope all of you have done well in the Civil Services Preliminary Examination 2022. Well, if we look at this paper, we will find out that UPSC has again maintained a good balance between all the subjects. You cannot say that this paper was slightly inclined towards one particular subject. In fact, all the subjects have found their adequate space in this question paper. And if we talk about the overall difficulty level of this paper, then also we can say that UPSC has done fairly well. Some of the questions were relatively easy, some of the questions were moderate in nature, and there were a few questions which were hard or were on the tougher side. Those students who have prepared well throughout the year will do well in this test. But those who have not prepared well or those who were not thorough with all the areas of the syllabus, they might have faced a great kind of challenge while they were appearing for the civil services examination this year, the preliminary stage. Well, what is the major lesson that we can learn from this question paper? The major lesson that we can learn from this question paper is no area can be left alone. All areas are very, very important for the examination. You cannot say that this one particular subject is not so significant for the examination. If you want to secure your chances for the mains, then you have to prepare all the areas very well. If I talk about the questions which were easy in nature, I will pick the questions which were mostly asked in the polity section and in the geography section. If I have to pick the questions which were moderate in nature, then I would say that economy, environment, and some of the history questions to some extent could be considered in this category. But the questions which emanated from current affairs, science and tech especially, they can be considered as questions on slightly tougher side. Especially some of the history questions were asked from the minute details of the events. And this was done purposefully because you see that uh, it has been many years that UPSC is conducting the examination. So the general questions are almost exhausted. That's why UPSC has adopted this new practice of unearthing the hitherto untouched part of the syllabus, especially in art and culture, history, or say in the current affairs section. So that's why these areas were those areas in the examination today where you can say that people might have faced some sort of challenge. Now, if I talk about the cutoff, what will happen to cut off this year? Well, friends, let me put it very straight. It is extremely difficult to speak anything about the cutoff at this moment because the sample size is not adequate to come up with a good, reasonable assumption. So that's why we can say that at this moment we should not bother ourselves with the cutoff. In fact, the cutoff depends upon several factors. First, the number of students taking the examination, the number of available seats for that year, and the difficulty level of the paper. You can say that only after a significant amount of time period, we can make some intelligent conclusions about the cutoff. But my suggestion to all of you would be that you have done your bit. Now, you have performed and Everything what is there with respect to your result or whether you will secure a birth in the mains is in the womb of destiny. So why bother yourselves with the uncontrollables? Let's control the controllables. This is high time, dear friends, that you start preparing for the mains examination. Do not squander your time unnecessarily in thinking about what could be the cutoff, how many number of students will be taken by UPSC for the mains examination. These are futile discussions which will only kill your time and will dampen your spirit going forward in the examination. What you should do is that you should immediately make a good plan for yourselves and follow that plan ardently so that you can prepare very well for the mains written examination. Three areas become very critical at this point. First is the GS paper 4, Ethics, Integrity and Aptitude. It is the game changer in the GS section. The essay paper is the second area where you should concentrate. And third is the optional papers. If you can prepare these three areas very well, then you would significantly increase your chances in the mains written examination. Those students who will now squander their time in discussions of cutoff and they will check every other key that will pass through their eyes, 
they will reduce their chances of getting an interview call because they will be ill prepared for the mains examination see you have done what you could now you cannot change anything the only thing that is there in your hand at this moment is a good thorough preparation for the mains examination so today relax no need of doing anything because you have already burnt yourself through a blast furnace it was a very tough time for you because uh, uh, you know that the pressure of the examination hall is taxing on the human body and you must be exhausted that is what i can presume at this point so you need relaxation relax a bit and then go full throttle make a good plan and hit the mains preparation right from the word go do not squander your time and i'm repeating one more time what ethics essay and optional papers this is what will ensure whether you will get an interview call or not so all the best and do very well in the mains preparation. Thank you.